Oh, going back in time is awesome. Hey guys, so this is my review for X-Men First Class. Now after watching the piece of garbage that was X-Men Wolverine, we're going for one of the worst ones to one of the best ones. And really, this is one of the best ones in my opinion. Because of the whole dynamic between Magneto and Professor X. James McAvoy and Michael Fassbender were perfect actors choices for these roles. And Michael Fassbender, who is an Academy Award winning potential actor, and same as James McAvoy in my opinion, both of those guys are so good and the fact that they went into this movie proves that they're not, they're okay with doing comic book films, which is awesome because that's what Ian McKellen and Patrick Stewart, both amazing grand tour actors, did in the first place. So this film, it follows the idea of the two of them growing up and becoming and meeting each other, forming the X-Men, and then the initial incident that broke them apart. Now, admittedly, this one didn't screw up the timeline with the original three as so much as it totally was like, fudge you, X-Men, Wolverine Origins, you're a piece of garbage, we're gonna take Emma Frost and do a better job with her. January Jones, again, not really the best of actresses, but I think she did a hell of a lot better than the other one. Mind you, the other one got like two minutes of screen time. Either way, my favorite parts of this movie are every scene with McAvoy and Fassbender in the same, in the same room with their conver when they're conversing. When they first meet in the submarine, when Magneto is trying to move the satellite dish, that scene is so good. There's so much emotional depth. There's so much interaction between the characters. The fact that Charles cries as he finds that moment in Xavier's mind is amazing. And it's probably one of the most heartfelt moments in a comic book movie between two dudes. And it's so great. Also, I do have to mention his scene when he goes to Argentina where he meets the pig farmer and the tailor. That is my favorite Magneto scene of almost the entire movies. I'm gonna have to, as I go through these, I'm gonna have to say which one's my favorite, but honestly, that is my favorite scene. We didn't, we didn't have names, they didn't belong to us. They belonged to the pig farmers and to the tailors, and just the whole work with a knife. Oh, such a good scene. The music's great too. One thing that this film also has that really set the mark for what was done in Days of Futures Past is it really emulated the 60s. Matthew Vaughn did a great job as not only making a comic book movie but also making a period piece and the characters and how they interact with each other in this time frame were great. The fact that Jennifer Lawrence wasn't the freaking main character in this movie was also really good. That the main part was McAvoy and Fassbender and their ideologies coming together and the conflicting. Sure, Kevin Bacon's a little bit odd as the fact that he creates a monster and then doesn't seem to do anything with him. We never really find out what happens after Charles in that incident at the at the, the death camp and then we see him in the future where he's ripping teeth out of Swiss people. But we don't know what happened in between and that's something that I've always kind of wondered. I wonder what happened between Sebastian Shaw and Magneto. Now the one thing that I also, the problem is with Ma Sebastian Shaw, I actually like his character. I think he's got a cool idea of Sure, it's a generic idea of blowing up the world, but the end means are still pretty cool. Which is why I thought that Apocalypse's plan in the newest film was so bland, because Sebastian Shaw is doing the exact same thing, except he's got maybe one little pinky toe of creativity involved. So when I see Apocalypse want to blow up the Earth, I was like, okay, Sebastian Shaw wanted to do it, but except he wanted to keep one alive. So, I don't know, I think just going into Apocalypse, I didn't really enjoy it. But either way, First Class, I still think is one of the best X-Men movies in the entire series. It has a great finale. It has some fantastic dialogue. Absolutely great storytelling. And it's probably one of the films that definitely got Matthew Vaughn really high up. He'd already done some great work with Layer Cake and Kick-Ass, but this really put him on a pedestal in my opinion, especially after he'd actually had some interaction with Last Stand, apparently. 
Either way, X-Men First Class gets a 6 out of 7 in my opinion. I enjoy watching this movie every time. I love the dialogue, I love the characters, I love watching it. Anyway guys, I'm going to go with the first X-Men movie next because Days of Futures Past technically does take place in the future. So that's going to be the last one on the list. Also because it's not the official theatrical version. Anyway guys, I hope you enjoyed this review. I'm loving talking about the old X-Men movies. First one's coming up next. See you guys later.